Hi there, this is Chris Hassenberg coming to you with a video update from Hassenberg Financial Group. In the upcoming weeks, you're going to hear lots of information uh, regarding lending tightness, sovereign debt distress, junk bond defaults, recessions, unemployment claims, and a host of other possibilities. Some of these things will happen. Some of these things will not. Remember, we are long-term investors. And if you are a long-term investor, now is your chance to prove it. Markets fluctuate, sometimes a lot. And we have a system, and we recommend sticking with that system. Be aware of emotional news stories that can make you feel and make, want to make decisions on a minute-by-minute minute or a day-by-day -day basis. Remember, bear markets don't destroy wealth. But how we behave in bear markets has the possibility to destroy wealth. Barring a miraculous cover, recovery in the market before the end of the month, be prepared for a shock on your March statements. Our recommendations don't look. Most of the communications that we've had with clients have not been fearful or panicked. In fact, quite the opposite. Asking, is this a time to buy? Is this an opportunity for us? Most of the panic calls that we've received have been from friends, colleagues, or relatives seeking guidance on how to handle these tumultuous times. If you know someone who is fearful about their retirements or their investment plans, feel free to give them our contact information. We are here to help, and we are here to help in any way, shape, or form that we can. Over 90% of the assets that we manage here are in our investment advisory managed platform. Our signals first started to turn red on January 31st, and so February 1st, we pull the percentage of our assets out of equities into fixed income. On March 2nd, we received more signals, so we pulled another additional percentage out of the market, and again, two days later on March 4th, we pulled almost half of our equities out of the markets. After President Trump's March 11th speech to the nation calling it a national emergency. On the 12th of March, we did pull 100% of our equities in our managed program out of the markets. After talking with our investment research firm, and we did approve a rebalancing of our investments to place some of those assets back into the markets on the 25th of March. In the upcoming weeks, we will make more of those sort of adjustments based on the signals and the systems that we receive. Remember, declines become recoveries, and we believe that this decline will become a recovery. And other declines that we've had in the past, one of the issues that we've had is that we just didn't know how big of an issue this was going to be in the fear of the unknown. And this event, we know what the problem is, and we are here for you to talk at any point in time to discuss your plan and your investments. Our office remains open. Although we aren't able to meet face-to-face, -face, our office is open. For the protection of our employees, we are staging our employees to come into the office at different times and so on. Um, we can run this entire firm with no one present. We have the ability to work remotely. At any point in time, please feel free to give us a call at 715-839-6566. For the last 20 plus years, on the backs of my personal cell card or my personal business cards is my cell phone number. If you are having some sort of emergency and you want to get a hold of me straight directly, uh, please feel free to give me a call on that number at 715-829-2469. If I am not on a video meeting or if I'm not on the phone with someone just like you, I will take your call and I'm happy to talk with you. In the meantime, be well, get rested, protect your immune system, and do everything you can. Uh, let me know if you like this update. If you do, I'll be continuing to do more of these updates as we go forward. Be well.